serious time. Where have you been, man? Because the way he's playing. I'm sorry? He's not playing well. Yeah, I mean, he's just not. So, But that's that's fine. I mean, he'll get it going, but he's just not playing well right now. It is, punishment isn't the correct word, so excuse me, but is this um, just allow somebody else to play? Or yeah. Is this a yeah, it's a team game, you know, and so when one guy's not playing well, we customarily put in someone else. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, so it's no punishment. Um, you don't get punished for that plan. Uh, you get rewarded for playing. You know, it's the exact opposite in our way. Like, you earn your minutes, and, you know, that's your reward. Uh, but if you're not playing well, you don't get to keep your minutes. Sure. It just doesn't work that way. You guys shot 12 or 10 to 12 more threes than you usually do. Yeah. You made 50% of them. Yeah. Do you think you'll start encouraging your guys to start taking more? Or? No, I mean, I don't really care. I just want to score a lot of points. So if we, if we get, you know, 50 layups and score 130, I'm fine with that too. So I don't care how we scored, to be honest. I think we're a pretty efficient scoring team. Um, I didn't think we were tonight, even though the numbers say we were. Um, I, I, I didn't think we were great offensively tonight, uh, honestly. I know you said that Lou prefers to come off the bench, but would this be a situation where you may start him to get a jump start? No, 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 I won't start Lou. No. Uh, in, the, in the reverse of Shea, Ty Wallace played 20 minutes today. He seemed pretty comfortable out there. Do you yeah. feel comfortable with his with his role? Yeah, he's been playing game? great. Yeah, uh, he's, he's really picking up. You know, one area where he's struggled, I think this defense has really picked up over the last you know two or three weeks. He's always been a great rebounder, uh, and what he does for us, Ty is a downhill attacker. He gets into the paint uh, and he creates action. Um, you know, the analytics tell us when he's on the floor, we play at, at a faster pace. And it was the same thing last year with him. Uh, even when he's not the primary ball handler, when he's on the floor, we run more uh, because he runs and he gets out and you can advance the ball to him. So uh, I've been really happy with the way he played. Uh, Coach, just uh, add on to that. With uh, Shea, with his shows, could we see Ty potentially start? No, I doubt that. Um, but you could see uh, Ty play a lot more minutes for sure. In that three-guard lineup, will we see more, more of that? Yeah, yeah. Though the last two teams go small, so, you know, um, it, you, you, we were going to do it. Even if we didn't plan on doing it, we would have done it in these last two games. Obviously, some rookies around the league, despite their success or struggles, are addressed in their 30-minute roles. And is the depth of this team at the guard position a factor in Shea seeing, you know, 20 plus minute nights and then some under 20? I don't think so, you know. It wasn't early in the year, and he was playing well. You know, he's just struggling. He's human. He's young. He's... Um, you know, just not playing well right now. So. Well, I know some, some coaches let them run on the fly. But yeah, I think we've, we, we've started him. Yeah. He's playing a ton of minutes. He's just not playing well. Uh, so I, we've been extremely patient. You know, uh, tonight, we wasn't patient with him tonight. We wasn't patient with him the other night. But um, Shea, I think, at one point was like fourth in the minutes with rookies. So I, I think Shea's playing a lot of minutes. I don't, I don't think that's the problem. Yeah. After, after three losses in a row, uh, you're facing now a very strong Utah team and, yeah. and actual, actual champions, Golden State Warriors. What's the number one thing that has to change for you to get a result in those two games? We'll beat Utah first. Mm -hmm. that, would be for, that would be our first goal. We won't think about Golden State until after Utah. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't looked a lot at Utah. Strange, just this late in the year, we really haven't seen them yet. So. Um, I can't tell you yet, uh, but I'll know by tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> I will. About a week ago, we were talking about how the team was close to playing when they were in yeah. November. What's changed between I them? don't know. I mean, uh, obviously, tonight, um, they had 19 more shots than us. You know, um, tough to win when you do that. I think that's the second time in the last, like, four or five games um, where a team has had a lot more shots than us. And it wasn't just offensive rebounds. It was turnovers tonight, too. Uh, so when you spot a team that wants to run, uh, you give them offensive rebounds and you turn the ball over, uh, it's going to be tough to beat them, and, and it was tonight. Ty made his uh, first three-pointer of the season today. I know that's something that he's always working on in yeah. practice. How important is that for him to add just to become at least like an average three-pointer? Well, it's important. I'm not waiting for him to break it out 
this year and he started pulling up the four or five threes, um, I want him to, to stay who he is, you know. But the fact that he shot it, he works on it every day. You see him in the gym working on it every day. Uh, it's what he has to do. Sindarius, we have several guys like that. Um, and when they start making them, if Tully start making threes, then he, he, he'd be virtually unguardable with the way he can get downhill. You guys got down 20 in, in the third. Can you just yeah. talk a little bit how you kind of came out after halftime? Uh, flat. You know, I thought we came out the first quarter that way too. You know, I want to be honest. So, uh, but really flat. Uh, I did think uh, offensively we got some good shots. We just didn't make them. Uh, I think we had that one stretch where I think Gal had back-to-back wide-open threes. I think Tobias had a wide-open three. All three were long rebounds. They attack us down uh, hill, and, and they score. Uh, and I thought that, that, that changed the game quickly. Um, what I love about this team, though, we didn't go away. You know, it would have been easy to you know, throw it in. We didn't. Um, you know, Ty Sco got right back in it. Uh, that's who we are. Uh, but we got to start finishing games again. This is the last couple games. Other than Denver, Denver beat us. Uh, last two games, we had a chance to win the game, uh, and we didn't finish the game off, and so we have to do that. What have you seen from Trez's passing, specifically off those short rolls? It seems like he gets all of his assists off of those. The fact that he's doing it, number one, is huge. You know, um, He knows that they're pulling in, and he knows there's guys in the corner. So you know what we're trying to tell all our guys, we get into the paint. It may not be your shot, but it will create a shot. And uh, the way Trez rolls, that's what he does. March does the same thing. I think those two guys in particular on rows do a great job of passing it back out for threes. And we have guys who can make them. Uh, to, tonight, actually, you got Trez had 26 and 10. He's yeah. like the aggressive, the energy guy. Yeah, you know, he you is. Guys, you hope that other players on the floor kind of feed off with this Trez or Lou Yeah, I mean, they are what they are, though. I mean, uh, Trez is an energy player. He's, he's always going to be, he's a skilled energy player, I think. Sometimes when you say energy player, guys take that as a slap like they're not skilled. No, he's skilled, but he plays with a lot of energy. Uh, Pat Beverly, same way, you know. Uh, it's funny, Pat had, what, three points, but he was a major factor in the game tonight. 11 rebounds, seven assists. Uh, he just plays hard, you know, and those are the type of energy guys we need. It's nice having them off the bench, though, to be honest. It, it, that group changes tempo when they come in. It's a good thing to have. Uh, Anthony Davis got off to kind of a slow start. Yeah. Parsons, 46. What can you do with a guy like that? Well, he made some tough shots and, you know, and then got offensive rebounds, too, that hurt us. You know, the one, honestly, that I call a timeout, it was three guys that had him under the basket, and he came up with the ball, you know. But the lesson there is all three of our guys jumped. Uh, and I asked him which one of them thought they were going to out-jump Anthony Davis. At, at what point did we think that was going to happen? You know, so you got to hit them. You got to you got to box them out first. Uh, if you think you're going to get an athletic contest with Anthony Davis, you know, things aren't going to go well for you. And 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 we did that several times tonight, uh, which that's something we have to do better. We have to we have to hit first and then go get rebounds. We're not other than Trez, We're not that athletic team that's just going to go get rebounds. Coach, obviously, AD's got to be one of the most difficult covers in, in the game. But yeah. What, what do you he told me he was playing like crap <laughs> in the second quarter. I shouldn't have talked to him. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like most about having Tobias? Because I remember in last year's matchup, you went to Tobias a lot on AD, and then tonight we saw a lot of Gallinari. What do you like about what those two guys bring defensively on AD? I like Gal overall because he's just smart. You know, uh, And I thought in the first half, he was really effective, You know, poking the ball loose. But, you know, it's like someone asked before the game about covering AD, and I said, well, he's just too smart. He's going to figure it out. And you can see in the beginning of the third quarter, he figured it out, and he got it going. So then we have to start trying to send other people at him. Um, Tobias, that's a tough matchup. You know, we got away with it in New Orleans. Um, that was not something we had planned to do. We did it and got away with it. Uh, it didn't work so well tonight. Did Gallinari lose his whole tooth or part of his tooth? I, I don't know. Hey, hey, coach. I doubt if it's his anyway. Hey, coach, can you help me understand <laughs> that last situation? I just got that. Can you help me understand that last situation? Did you instruct the team to foul with um, seconds left on the clock? I think it was 13 seconds left on the clock. Did you instruct the team to foul? I don't even foul? remember now. We fouled a couple of times. We want to try to pop a still uh, first and then foul. You know, uh, we wanted to foul uh, Randall. And when he, they had the three, we were trapping, they threw him the ball. 
and we just couldn't get to them in time. So that was what the game plan was. I think they've been in that situation too before. Uh, and you can see when he, they threw it to him, uh, he played hot potato. He got it on his hand pretty quick. So that's a wise man. Um, for a while there, you guys were running uh, the pick and roll with him. Is this something you guys want to see more often? Because you guys are pretty effective. Oh, we always run it with him. You know, he's just good with it. You know, he's good with the ball. He's good in the pick. You know, him and uh, Gal are two guys, best guys in pick and rolls. So we're going to always run that. Doc, I make sure that Shade never loses confidence, but. In your opinion, is his confidence shaking? He's just struggling, you know. So if that's confidence, that's confidence. But he's just not playing well, guys. Like, mm-hmm. I, I swear to God, he's 20-whatever. He's not playing well. It happens. You know, he's going to be a star, and I believe that. But uh, he's just not playing well. There's no, like, dark secrets to this, you know. He'll play better. It's just going to may take a week, a day, or a month, but he'll be back. I, I have no doubt about that. What, what do you what do you want to see your team improve on? I mean, rebounding. And, rebounding and still transition. You know, I, I, one thing numbers say when we get our defense set, we're pretty good, uh, but we got to get it set. And so those two areas uh, we have to improve on. All right, guys. Thank you.